In this weekend's video, we finally get to install the JDM rear bumper. So car is raised up and now what we have to do is remove the USDM bumper. We have to remove the tail lights to be able to remove the bumper. So I'm just going to time lapse it and then explain all the bolts and all the little details that you need to know to be able to remove the USDM bumper. bumper is completely out i was kind of scared to remove it because this car was rear-ended before i owned it the previous owner which is the only previous owner uh got into an accident in the rear he told me it was very very simple it was still a clean title car and he wasn't lying because it looks pretty you know pretty good the one thing i did notice is that the crash bar of course bent a little bit so i hope i don't have any issues installing the crash bar the stm crash bar um it looks pretty straight so it doesn't look that bad what i'm gonna do is i'm going to as you can see this thing is dirty all the way around what i'm going to do is i'm gonna finish the tomei exhaust and then i'm going to flip the car and put this towards the outside so i could clean all of this very nice and neat if i have to put some dei uh spray or something to maybe because i see maybe a little bit of rust starting so I don't want no rust to start up on these sections. It doesn't look that bad. I mean, here you can see that it's a little bit of surface rust, but I'm interested on seeing what's behind there. If I have to sand it down, grind it or whatever, I'll do that now to take care of that, make sure that the car is in the best condition possible. And then we will get to installing the JDM rear. So now that we have this USDM bumper out, the first thing we need to do is remove all of the brackets and everything that's on this bumper and move it to the JDM bumper. Now for us to do that, this is probably, well, not even, this is an easy part, but it's still a little bit complicated because it does have rivets. So you have to drill through them, but it shouldn't be that hard. Just drill out all the old rivets. And then there should be a couple of bolts here and there that you need to unscrew or remove and this whole bracket should come out and be very careful because you're gonna reuse everything here and put it on your JDM bumper. So let me get to drilling, removing this whole bracket, removing the harness that we are going to use for our LED tails and license plate. We won't be using the side markers for the bumper because the JDM doesn't have it. So I'll figure out a way to tuck that in. But yeah, let's get to removing all of this and then we will transfer, clean everything, of course, knowing me, and moving everything to the JDM. Harness is out bracket is completely out the bumper now what i'm going to do is i was able to drill them out but i still got to drill a little bit to remove them from the bracket itself this bracket you can separate it with this bolt right here so i'm just going to separate it so if you could see you know taking this nut off will remove this part taking the nut off will remove that part that way i can work on it in a specific area remove all the rivets 
And then I'm gonna clean it up, clean up the harness because it's super dirty. Clean this up, maybe spray it just black, flat black. And then I'm gonna start figuring out this bracket assembly issue uh, for the license plate. I do have the STM rear crash bar, which I can re put the license plate there. But I still wanna figure out the LED tells because I do wanna make sure that you can see them bright. You know, you can see like it sh it, that they shine basically on the plate a good amount. Uh, I've always liked that look at night. So I'm gonna go for that. And then this one, the SCM crash bar is literally just getting the SCM and putting the four bolts where they belong right here. And as you guys can see, I, I told you guys that this car, uh, previous owner got rear ended and there is quite a bit of damage. Not a lot, but it's still a little, uh, you know, he got hit, he got hit a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a DEI rust repellent spray just in case for this rust parts, I'm gonna sand it down, spray that out to make sure that the rust or, I mean, this car has no rust. It's always been a Florida car, but these parts has a little bit of rust that's starting on it. So I do want to take the precaution to make sure, make sure that this car is 100% solid and this car is going to be painted later on. But still, want to take that precaution now. And let's just get this bracket assembled, STM crash bar on, and then it's time for you, baby. So before I go ahead and put the crash bar on the car, like I mentioned, the car was rear-ended and I wanted to put some rust prevention DEI, which is a clear coat. They didn't have none in stock. So I do have this on the shelf. It's an undercoating, but it still does resist rust and it stops rust. So I'm gonna go ahead, sand this down, spray it a little, just so I could prevent more rust or anything like that coming to the car. I doubt it is just this panel and it is gonna get painted but I still wanna take the precaution just in case. So let me spray this on, sand a little bit of the rust, sand a little bit of the rust off, and then we are good to put the crash bar on, which is two bolts here, two bolts here, and we are set to go. So now that I've cleaned the brackets out, removed the rivets, we have to basically reverse process. Now we're gonna put it on the JDM rear, exactly how you remove it, you're gonna put in basically. This is what I got for to do my rivets. I got this at Harbor Freight for, believe it or not, $4 with a 20% coupon. So gonna basically put everything in reverse order. I'm gonna put the metal part first and then put the rivets. You guys can see it in the time lapse. And if you guys have any questions, how to do this is super simple, but just leave them down in the comments and like always, I will respond to you. So before finishing all the rivets, I did wanna explain how to do the rivet with the rivet gun. It's literally this simple. I'm using the 532's rivets and all you do with the gun is put it in. You're gonna put it in the hole, make sure it goes all the way through and literally hold it, squeeze, open it all the way, squeeze. And then on the third squeeze, at least with this one, it breaks. And then once you release it completely, it releases the rest of the rivet and you're all set to go. I'm, it's literally that simple. So I'm gonna continue going through this. Once I finish all the rivets of the entire bumper, then we are set to go. All the rivets are on the bumper. As you could see, this was literally super, super simple. Like super, super easy. So this definitely worked for $4. Super, like I'm honestly impressed for $4 how that rivet gun worked. Super simple. Now, all we have to do is install the crash bar and then we are set to go for a test fit. Uh, 
bumper is mocked up and it looks amazing. Let me sit down here so you guys can see this beautiful bumper, dude. That's insane, like insane, insane. Uh, right now, what I'm stressing about is lighting for the plate and brackets and just figuring out my own way of doing this. I have a couple of ideas, but I'm still torn on what to do for the lighting. Um, I don't know. Um, I'll tell you guys what I decide to do, but it's just a little bit complicated because there's not much space. You know, I have to figure something out to put the lights, put the harness. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Um, but besides that, the bumper, as you guys could tell, looks amazing. I am so stoked to right now. I can't really appreciate the car or the bumper because as you could tell, I'm like in a little corner. Once I push this car out or turn on the car with the bumper on, this is going to look amazing. Explain the bolt on uh, of the bumper of installing the JDM bumper. You have one bolt that goes here. You have one that goes in the middle that goes in through here. I'm not sure if you can see that silver bolt. Then you, same thing on this side, one and one on the inside. Then you have the ones here. And then you have four that go here underneath this. But again, I removed two for the lights. So I only have one and one and it goes right through these holes right here. You're going to see them. Besides that, you also have, of course, the bottom ones for the fender, which are these right here. I haven't put them on yet. Um, that's pretty much it, uh, honestly. Besides that, just make sure that the bumper is aligned. Look at the Tomei alignment. Again, perfect. So now what I'm gonna do is install the tail lights, and then we have the Rec Speed carbon fiber extensions, which look amazing. Mm -hmm. Now that the bumper is on, we have to install the Rec Speed carbon fiber side skirt. Well, they're not side skirt extensions, they're rear bumper extensions. They look so good on the cars. I've always wanted this piece. So it's pretty simple. Let me explain how to install it. So, first things first, they provide all the hardware, but the one thing I notice is that the bolts don't go through, like the hole's too small. So I'm gonna be putting some masking tape and drilling, making the hole a little bit bigger with a step drill, uh, just to make sure that they do go through. All you have to do is make one, two, three, four holes, and basically mock it up to the fender. I mean, not the fender, what am I, what's going on? To the bumper. So you mock it up to the bumper, just like that, and you are good to go. Make sure that obviously is straight with the bumper. I'm just holding this with one hand. And I'm also going to be using some 3M double tape on the top just for some adhesion. And it also provides protection to the carbon fiber with the plastic. So let's start this right now. So all the holes have been made, or they were pre-made, but they were really, really small. So the bolt that they provided didn't fit. Now it does fit. A uh, quick tip, just in case you didn't know, when you're drilling through carbon fiber, or actually any part, you don't want it to flare out or mess up. You use some tape, masking tape, blue tape, and then look at how clean the cuts come out. It literally comes out like if it was from the manufacturer. So it comes out really, really clean, no flares or anything like that. The clear coat doesn't get messed up. So really important if you're going to do this to your Rexby carbon fiber extensions. But we are all set to go now. Let's mock it up on the bumper and install these. So the next step is drilling the actual bumper, which hurts me, but it's only four small holes. I What I did was 
have, I held it and I had Giselle mark the holes as I held it on the bumper where I want it. So it's already sharpied in. Now all I'm gonna use is a drill bit to make a perfect hole with the pointy tip. And now drill the holes and then put the nuts and stuff like that. You guys get the idea. The bumper looks so good. The carbon fiber extensions look so good. Take a look at this. Just like that, the rear end is done. It looks so good. I'm honestly super happy the way it came out. I've had the JDM bumper for two years. I had the carbon fiber extensions for two years. So it was time to do it. It looks so, so much better. So good. I love it. Honestly love it. I'm gonna end the video there. It is Sunday night. I know I said I was gonna drive it with the, so you guys can hear how the exhaust sounds driving, driving by. I'll do it next week and it's super late, it's Sunday night. I know the video's late as well, it's supposed to be on Saturday, but I've been super busy. So next video, we'll do some maintenance stuff before we tune and I'll for sure, for sure do the drive-bys next weekend. So make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't already. And like always, keep grinding, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next weekend, take care.